Right now, it's time to show you some of this morning's headlines from around the globe. The Wall Street Journal says more than two-thirds of young Americans would not qualify for military service. The Pentagon says many 17 to 24-year-olds are ineligible because of obesity, no high school diploma or felony convictions, and a growing number don't make it in because of large tattoos. Time Magazine looks at Russian President Vladimir Putin's taste for interior design. <laughs> A recent video conference offered a glimpse. <laughs> Putin's room features a long white table and a video wall. Tom says it looks like the secret lair of a James Bond villain. Well, that's one take. The New York Daily News says Wimbledon officials are really enforcing the all-white clothing policy. They're even keeping close tabs on your underwear. Women are being warned to change their sports bras or other undergarments if they have color in them. But this rule applies to the men, too. Former Wimbledon champ Pat Cash claims some competitors don't have the suitable look, so they went without. It's an unfortunate mm. shot there. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that too. The Rapid City <laughs> Journal says you can buy your own town for $400,000. One man, Lance ben Benson, owns Sweat, South Dakota. It's about two hours outside Rapid City. The price includes a bar, workshop, three trailers, one house, and just over six acres of prairie land. And Britain's Mirror says Prince Harry will get a big payday on his 30th birthday, $17 million. It is an inheritance from his late mother, Princess Diana, but he'll have to pay 40% in estate taxes. Harry's birthday is September 15th. So they said he'll still get about $10 million. That's well, not so bad when you turn 30.